I think it's a common misconception that people who homestead or live off-grid haven't always used the most cutting-edge technology. After five years off-grid, I'm going to give you guys my opinion on technology. But first, watch this clip of these robots that interact by themselves to clean up the kitchen. Okay, I'd like to try something new. Even though this is the very first time that you've ever seen these items, I'd like you to use your new Helix AI and try to reason through where you think they belong in the scene and then work together to put them away. Does that sound good? While these robots did have roughly 500 hours of training in general, that's way less than a lot of the AI robots required previously. These two robots have apparently been set up in this scene, set up as a kitchen, with items that they haven't previously experienced. They were not trained on this setup or these specific items. What surprised me the most was that they autonomously interacted. When that robot saw that that was an item that should be in the refrigerator, it handed it to the other robot and the other robot was able to understand why it did that. I've had people comment, you know, to the effect that, well, real homesteaders wouldn't use that technology. Or, you know, look back at homesteaders in the 1800s. They didn't have X, Y, and Z. And while it's true that they didn't have the technology we have today, I don't think it's fair to say that they wouldn't have been using cutting edge technology at the time. And so the horse trailer that they had, the tools that they used, why wouldn't they just use the very best to make their life as easy as possible? I think that that still applies today. Why wouldn't you use the techniques that are best to be used? You know, the very most rudimentary, basic kind of technology. Why wouldn't you use the very best basic methods in combination with the very best technology that's available. There are rain harvesting techniques, well digging techniques, you know, gardening techniques, using mulch and, and different drought tolerant techniques. A lot of these things stem clear back to the 1800s and way beyond that. And why, why fix it if it ain't broke, you know? You can have a root cellar that does a phenomenal job. But that's not to say that you couldn't put a PC fan into your, into your root cellar with a solar panel and a battery and make it more efficient. I have a water tower because with that water tower I can deliver about 20 pounds of water pressure to anywhere on the homestead. That's pretty rudimentary technology nonetheless, but technology they had clear back in the 1800s and way before that. And... You know, my sunken greenhouse, even the fact that it's a geothermal, you could have done that a long time ago. I do have a PC fan connected to it. There's a water pump in my agro or in my aquaponics system. You know, I use Starlink. That makes a lot of sense for me. Uh, security cameras, mostly for livestock and animals that land and check out the homestead. And uh, well, this brings me to. More recently, well, I didn't even know that they're already selling robots. So people can already buy a robot. There is one company I, I saw that's already shipping these robots for about $60,000. And you have to be more of a programmer to really put it to use. But you can already buy other robots from between about 16000 up to a couple, like a quarter million dollars. And all of these robots, even the cheapest one, can do quite a bit of stuff around your home. Uh, there's one robot around $16,000 uh, that they show, and, and it, it walks around, and it can actually kind of carry a jog. And, and then for around ninety grand, I think figure two is what it was, the one that looked like the most advanced one to me. They had two robots. They said, hey organize this kitchen. The robots had never been in that kitchen, apparently. Never had done this chore, apparently. And he just said, hey, clean up the kitchen, and walked away. 
and immediately they fired up and started putting there were some items on the counter one robot opened the fridge and started putting refrigerator items into the fridge where they should go approximately like there was a ketchup bottle and he put it in next to the relish bottle like that makes sense right and and then the other robot handed that robot some cheese that's cold needs to go in the fridge I never seen that before that I was almost like my jaw dropped kind of because I'm just like wow look at where these are at and I just think in a few years you know like this year they're gonna have people people will have robots taking care of their houses and stuff there's already robots working in auto uh plants and whatever like BMW and Mercedes have some of these robots working on parts around there and can you just imagine being able to have a robot just walk around a homestead like this and go pull some weeds or this morning I had to restack all those solar panels and all this lumber and all that lumber so that tomorrow I can get this driveway graded and I still got to pull some other things off of the driveway a robot could easily have just stacked that wood for me, and that was, like, quite a bit of work, you know? Anyway, I've been thinking about that. It's only a few years away that someone like me, you know, just regular people, I could probably afford a $15,000 robot that could have stacked that lumber for me. It blows my mind that we are in a time, it's wild, that technology is advancing so quickly we had these dreams of things that were impossible in the 80s as an 80s baby you know hover cars and you know flying cars robots and it's all coming true and uh i think technology has a really good place why not have a, find a good balance between you know i've got pigskins in oxalic acid over there i'm tanning those hides because that's kind of an old technology and something that's fruitful to do with the pigs here on the homestead and then at the far end of the spectrum why not have a robot that does some chores for you or helps out around the homestead it's pretty interesting we're headed that way anyway whether you like it or not i don't know tell me what you think comment below guys just a thought that i had i thought i'd share with you and i'll catch you on the next video let's go start a homestead and make it as difficult as possible